who are you? Big Snoop Dogg from the DPJC. Oh, wait. You are Snoop Dogg in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And Snoop, we would like to give you here some juice uh -huh. and some gin. From gin. Why not? On the dog. Now we're going to roll down the streets. Now Snoop Bones, the movie, it was written for you. That's incredible. I mean, you know, it was about time for me to get into the movie world, so why not get into the movie world with a movie that was, you know, created around myself so I could get into it and do my best thing as far as acting was concerned. 1979 is the year. Harlem is the place? Uh, it's not Harlem. It's anywhere in America. You know what I mean? It's, 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 the, it's, the, it's, the, uh, it's the ghetto across the world. It has no specific place or, or time. You know, it's just set in 1979. And, I mean, you know, that was a beautiful time of our life. But it's really no city or no state located. Snoop is on the streets doing numbers? Definitely doing that as Jimmy Bones, you know, running numbers, taking care of the community, you know, spreading love, keeping the crime out, and just bringing unity. Having a good time, and then comes in another influence, crack. Yeah, please believe it. The big thing that knocked the uh, whole Mac game off his feet was the crack game, and that came in 1980, and that's what destroyed my community and made us, you know, have a downfall because I was wiped out completely, iced, baby. But 20 years later or 22 years later? Yes, my soul cannot rest. So I definitely had to come back and get some payback. You know what I mean? Some of that big payback. Revenge, sweet revenge, Jimmy Bones style. And you come back as a dog, Snoop Doggy Dog? As the character Bones? Mm, sort of, kind of. I mean, it's a little dog in it, you know. But for the most part, you'd have to see the movie. I don't want to kill everybody's, you know, intuition off as far as giving the whole movie away. But it's worth seeing, knowing, and imagining. So when it come out, be sure to get down to the theaters and check it out. Snoop Dogg has bones. Now, one of the people in the movie is Pam Greer. What can you tell the people about Pam Greer, Snoop? Oh, this is Foxy Brown, Coffee, uh, Sheba Baby, you know what I mean? Jackie Brown. She's, she's totally sexy. I mean, you know, she's every man's dream, you know what I'm saying, as far as... Being on the screen, on the streets, just in real life, she's every man's dream. Look at this, look at this body right here. Look at it. Is there any nudity in the movie at all, Snoop? Uh, any that, gratuitous nudity? That I'd let you have to see with your own two eyes. I don't want to ruin that, but it is rated R, so, you know, you put two plus two together and add it up. So, Snoop, Pam Greer plays your girlfriend. That's great! Like, your girlfriend, Pam Greer, did you ever think that that would happen? Uh, no, nah, I never thought it would happen, but I'm happy that it's happening, and uh, we're going to take full advantage of it by, you know, coming with the hot movie and making sure everything is beautiful and fly at the same time. Snoop, has Pam Greer told you any stories? Because she's been in so many incredible movies, like, you know, Scream, Blackula, Scream, the Black, Blackula, Black, bla Blackula. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we share a cool relationship, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's more than just being in this movie and we acting together. It's, it's, it's a friendship thing, you know what I mean? And we've gotten a to be real real good friends so you know we talk about a lot of good things you know a lot of things that we need to holler about your character does a lot of killing in the movie i understand snoop it bees like that sometimes man you know every good movie needs a couple of good killings there's some good horror yeah something to make you jump out your seat are there any puppets in the movie at all snoop i don't think there's no puppets in the movie i don't think so not that i've seen because, Snoop, you're on No Limit Records, and Master P, he has a doll, doesn't he? Yeah, he has a doll. Which, the question arises, would you ever have a doll, Snoop? Is there a Snoop Doggy Dog doll? Possibly. It might be one in the making right now. You never know. It depends. You know what I mean? I might do one for this Bones movie. You never know. I don't know. What do you think of this doll here? It's the Dennis Rodman one that they've come out with. Oh, this is the Dennis Rodman doll? Oh, that's... that's I don't even know what to say. Because <laughs> there's there's different dolls and also... he got collard greens around his waist. With baby green hair. He comes with a wedding outfit you can put him on as well. You see it? And Snoop, check out this doll that they have as well. The Red Fox doll. Oh, that's... No, I like Red Fox. You can take... Get some, this is out of here. Shit out of here. I like Red Fox. But this one, nigga, hey. You big dummy. 
I like Red Fox. This dope. Where you get this from? A flea market. A friend found it at a flea market for eight dollars. Can I have it? Or can I buy it? Uh, I How think you sixteen. I'm not sure if I she got twenty four. I'm not sure. Thirty two. I'm not sure. Forty dollars, man. I'm That's not sure. It, man. Forty dollars, sell it, man. I, I, I can't. Well, I'm taking it. <laughs> oh, it's Snoop, please don't. My friend will kill me for that. But Snoop, what I was curious about, Red Fox was a huge influence, or influenced by this gentleman right here, Rudy Dolomite. Moore, yeah. Maybe you could just show that to the camera and tell people. Like, people don't always know who Rudy Ray Moore is. They don't know who, you know, the, the leg what is the legend of Rudy Ray Moore, and what's your connection? Uh, legend of Rudy Ray Moore, this guy right here, Dolomite, Rudy Ray Moore, he's a spectacular actor. He's done so much for the black, you know, acting world, and, um, uh, He's a close friend of mine. He's featured on my album right now in stores, No Limit Top Dog. And, um, you know, we share a great relationship. And uh, it's people like him that inspired me to do what I do. And I just want to give him a shout out right now, Rudy Ray. Keep it gangster, Dolomite. Snoop, you're wearing some incredible outfits in the movie, and especially right now. Is there going to be a line of clothing coming out? Uh, it could be. It, it might be called K9 Clothing, you dig? Dolomite started out as a dancer called Prince Dumar. You yourself have some incredible moves, like on Saturday Night Live. Where'd you learn to dance? Um, I really don't look at myself as a dancer. I just get into the music. However the music is, it just, you know, makes me have that type of rotation and motation. So, you know, I'm not really looked at as a dancer. I don't look at as myself as trying to dance. I just like to have a good time. And if I'm grooving, I'm grooving. Oh, looking great, Snoop. Looking great. And looking great in the movies, too. Bones, you look incredible. How about for other things, like getting down and doing it and collaborating? You've collaborated with so many different people. Has Michael Jackson ever approached you? No, nah, but we spoke. You know what I mean? We spoke. Was he down with Snoop? Definitely. I'm down with him as well. You know, that's a beautiful thing. It's two, two musical uh, masterpieces, you know. Maybe one day we'll make something. You're in Vancouver, BC, Canada right now. Priority Records, you've had an established uh, association with them in the past. The guy who started Priority is from Vancouver, Brian Turner. Oh, he is? He's Canadian. I think he's from Winnipeg, but moved to Vancouver and then moved to LA and did California Raisins and then Snoop Doggy Dog. That's right, I heard that. What's it like being in Vancouver filming the movie Bones, Snoop? It's beautiful, man. I mean, it's, I can't even explain it. I mean, you got nice people out here, respect. Green, you know what I mean? Have you checked out much of the TV? You were mentioning you're watching it. Have you got down with any of the local Canadian rap? Like, have you heard of Chuck Clare? Because I think he's on Priority Records as well. Yeah, I've heard of him. He's pretty dope. He's got some fly stuff. I like his video. He's got some bad little females in his video. Are there any other rappers coming up too? Have you met any, you know, Canadian rappers? Uh, no. Nah. Because I've just been, you know, glued down in this movie. And either, when I go to the club, I ain't really trying to hear no rapping, you know what I mean? So you have gone to a few clubs, and has anything in Vancouver uh, perked your interest at all, Snoop? Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a couple of spots out here that, that's off the hook, you know what I'm saying? And it was cool that I went there to get a vibe on the kind of music that I need to go home and make, you know what I'm saying? What were the places, if you could disclose, possibly? Uh, I think it was called uh, the Wap Baba Lou Bop, the Wap Bamboo. I Baboom! Know, I don't know what the name of them was, because I don't want to tell y'all, because y'all might try to sneak up in there on me. But it's the hot spot, downtown. It ain't but three or four of them, and I'm in one of them, so y'all come check it out. Now, Snoop, did you ever party at all with Antoine Big Dog? Yeah, um... He's a Vancouver Grizzlies yeah, member. Yeah, yeah, he's a cool dude. I mean, me and him chopped it up a couple times. He gave me a few tickets to the game. Just want to say what's up to Big Dog if you're watching out there. In the movie Bones, there's lots of dogs, isn't there, Snoop Dogg? There are lots of dogs, right? I know you don't want to give too much away, but there are dogs, right? Yeah, I don't think it's a lot of them. I think it's probably a main dog, you know what I mean? I don't think it's like 75 dogs in the movie. It's probably one or two. Do you know that poodles are the most intelligent dog? Not to me. Pit bulls are the most intelligent dogs. I'm a pit bull lover, and I know that. I don't have poodles, so I don't know. Well, the reason I mention that, Snoop, is the guy that wrote the book, The Intelligence of Dogs, is from Vancouver, B.C., Canada as well. Don't know him. Never heard of him. And you've been in Vancouver. I heard a rumor, Snoop, that you were out there partying and you bought 90 bottles of wine. That's a damn lie. Because I don't even drink wine. I'm in the club drinking water and 7-Up. Oh, champagne. No, water and 7-Up. <laughs> 
And then there was another room, or another snoop spotting, that somebody went and got some glass pipes. You know, BC being the endo capital of the world, someone got some glass pipes. Have you enjoyed any of the glass pipes at all in BC, Snoop Doggy Dog? No, but I've enjoyed what goes in the glass pipes out here in BC. I don't enjoy glass pipes, only what go in them. How about Tommy Chong? He's from Vancouver, BC, Canada, too. Have you seen him on the street, Snoop? Another person you could call up. Oh, Chi Chong? Yeah, Tommy Chong lives just over on the North Shore. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't know that. I'm going to have to look him up. Tell him to come by and let's go up and smoke. Tommy Lee of the band Methods of Mayhem, formerly Motley Crue. You recorded him in Methods of Mayhem. Mm-hmm, that's a close friend of mine. Me and Tommy Lee, real cool. That's my boy. Him and uh, Tim Dog was cracking like in Methods of Mayhem, taking over for the 2G. So you've made up with Tim Dog because he had that song Blank Compton, which really wasn't too nice to the West Coast. No, this is a different Tim Dog, you know. The other one that you're talking about, he ain't even in the rap game no more, so he's not a problem. The the, the one I'm talking about is with Tommy Lee. He's, he's the white kid named Tim Dog, the rapper. He's my homeboy. I want to say what's up with him. I'm glad you clarified that. Actually, Tommy Lee said in an interview that you smoked more endo than he'd ever seen anybody smoke. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. I appreciated that. Because I told everybody out there, I'm the Bob Marley of rap, you dig? So, I mean, you know, I do what I have to do to do what I do. And I do it well. More endo than Peter Tosh. And the great thing about you, Snoop, is you help out so many great groups. Like the East Siders. There's say new groups coming out. And you have a new all-female group coming out? Mm-hmm. Doggies Angels, my female group. Three females from Los Angeles, you know. I'm coming out with a movie straight to home video DVD for them. And their record will be out probably in the fall. Doggy's Angels, be on the lookout for it. Snoop Dogg presents Doggy's Angels. Snoop Doggy Dog, Dr. Dre has helped out a lot of people too. Can you tell me anything about this band? I've always wondered about the world class wrecking crew. There's Dr. Dre in the middle. This is pre NWA, right? Yes, definitely. This was some of the uh, trend making music that, you know, formulated that West Coast sound. You know, they had a lot of songs on there that, you know, was like considered R&B songs and big records. That just shows the versatility of Dr. Dre, that he makes good music, no matter if it's R&B, if it's gangster rap, if it's pop, if it's hip-hop. And this is before he, you know, formulated N.W.A., so the music was a little bit more, you know, softer and R&B-ish, but it did what it had to do. Was he forced to wear those outfits? Like, the record company saying you got to dress like that? Because you dress like however you want, your Snoop Doggy Dog. Were they forcing them to dress like that? No, I think that was probably the style back then. you got to understand, when this record came out, you know, this probably was the style. You dig what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta pay respect to that for them having the you know, the the heart to go out there and set their own trends and, and wear this type of thing and put the kind of music down that they did and then make that transformation into doing what they felt was them, you dig? The next thing you're doing, Snoop, I totally understand, is you're doing Bones, and then you're an N.W.A., or you just were an N.W.A. Is that still going on? Like, to be an N.W.A., that's incredible. Did you ever think you'd be, you know, replacing Eazy-E and N.W.A.? Um, no, I never dreamed of it, and it's not, it's not that I'm replacing. I think I'm just keeping the legacy alive and, you know, adding on to what Easy started, you know, because it's his dream, N.W.A., you know what I mean, that we're going to keep alive. So, you know, it's all with respect. Ice Cube's parents, are they professors at UCLA? I wouldn't know. You're Snoop Doggy Dog, and I was wondering, Snoop, Vanilla Ice, Eminem, the Beastie Boys, is Eminem really any good? What do you think about Eminem, really, honestly, Snoop? I think he's one of the dopest motherfuckers in the rap game to ever come out. And he got a lot of heart, creativity, and uh, the boy's a star. You know what I'm saying? Whether I say it or not, the public already didn't put the stamp on it. And that's something that you or I and nobody in the world can take away from him. If he's a star, the public is going to put that star stamp on him. And that's what he's going to always be. Well, speaking of the word white, what do you think of Barry White? He's got such a bad rap over the years, but he's done some incredible music. Do you have any props to Barry White? Yeah, I'd like to uh, give a shout out to Barry White's hairdresser. Cause his hair was beautiful, you know, every time he was on. On a mission, he made some of the best records. He had the best sound, his own sound, the big bass sound. The, 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 he had the cold songs. He knew how to break a woman down. He had a deep voice. I mean, Barry was the main man, you know what I mean? He went through a whole lot to get where he was and give a shout out to a true legend like Barry White. He's always a legend in my eyes, believe it. Snoop, on the movie Bones here, what's it like shooting a movie? Like you have guys on the set showing you how to use a switchblade. What's that like? I mean, everything is, you know, 
it's cool because it's like it's a dream that I'm living. You know what I mean? From the 70s to the 2000s, I knew that having a switchblade was 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 probably the thing to do in 1979. Every real player knew how to work one, so learning how to do that was special because it added to my character to where it would be more believable that I was Jimmy Bones. I was also curious about this other group here, this running with groups, the Whispers. Have you ever heard of these guys at all from yeah. LA? Because I always I found this record, my friend did, and I've always, you know, 98 cents right here. And I was just curious, what's the significance of the Whispers? Is there any significance behind this group at all, Snoop Doggy Dog? Yeah, I mean, they had a great sound. I mean, I love the Whispers. Do you still listen to a lot of soul? Yeah, I'd like to get this record from you if I could. We'll talk about that later, the negotiations for the Red Fox Puppet and the Whispers record here with Snoop Doggy. Dog. Now, Snoop, Master P a lot of times goes, uh, he goes, uh, what's that noise? Uh, what is that? You'd have to ask Master P. Have you ever been forced to do something you didn't want to do in the recording studio? Like you have the most amazing laid back drawl when you speak there and sing Snoop Doggy Dog and rap. Like you're not shouting. That's incredible. Like you're not shouting. Has anybody tried to make you shout? Hi Snoop. No, nah, but I believe that, you know. What's up? They ready for me? Ready on set, sir. All right, here I come. No, I don't think nobody, you know, actually, you know, made me say or do nothing, but it's good to get coached, and Dr. Dre is a coach, and a lot of times he wants me to be more into what I'm doing as far as, like, put more attitude on my rap, but as far as yelling, I never would yell because that ain't my style, baby. Well, thanks so much, Snoop Doggy Dog. Really appreciate the time here. I was going to ask if you read Murder Dog magazine. There's another influence of Snoop Doggy Dog. Hey, did you ever read Murder Dog? Yeah, I've been in here a couple of times. It's a cool little magazine, and it represents the West Coast and the South to the fullest, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of magazines, you know, don't. So they give a lot of credit and a lot of respect to people who never really would get no love or no respect. Snoop Doggy Dog finally here, winding up. Thanks for speaking to me, Nerdwater Human Serviette. Who would win a fight, Mr. T or Ice T? Mr. T. Snoop, do 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 do. Great, <laughs> thanks. <laughs>